We're joined now by Ray Eglinton from Four Communications to National Ray Eglinton to talk about the recent award-winning employee engagement campaign for OPIC. Ray, tell us about your clients and the challenge they faced. Well, uh, OPIC was a, a business that had come together from three existing companies in Oman, three uh, refining and petrochemicals business uh, part of subsidiaries of Oman Oil. Uh, and the history of these three companies had been organizations that had worked very separately, had had challenges in, uh, in working together. Uh, the management team of the new business realized that by bringing them together there could be significant uh, business and commercial benefits, um, but that was only ever going to work if they could, if they could bring the businesses together. Uh, a great example of, of, um, of how these businesses are separate is that although they were all on the same uh, the same location had big wire fences with barbed wire along the top between them. People couldn't even get between the businesses. So our job was to help create, uh, create a brand that the employees could get behind. And that was what Building Pride was all about. So it wasn't just the metaphorical silos we face all the time. It was actual physical divisions there, between There were very businesses. real silos with turnstiles that you had to use to get through from one business to another. Uh, perhaps a, a, a good example of how um, people just weren't working closely together. So what was your strategy to get those, um, those physical and metaphorical silos broken down? Um, very, uh, very simple. It, th this had to be a brand that was of the people for the people. Uh, so it had to come from uh, the employees, it had to come from the people from within, within each business. Uh, there was a, a communications task force we worked with, from, with representatives from each of the three businesses. Uh, and we uh, then used them to help create a very wide-ranging consultation program with, uh, with employees throughout the businesses, involving uh, altogether 600, more than 600 employees took part in, uh, in meetings, surveys, and different forms of input. Uh, getting these kinds of, uh, of grassroots, ground-up uh, engagement campaigns to actually work is often easier said than done, yeah. isn't it? What, what were some of the challenges you faced, and how did you overcome them? Uh, the challenges were, uh, you're absolutely right, there are a number of challenges. The location, uh, the different silos that people were in, um, uh, the fact that this had never been done. People were a bit nervous about how to give input and what kind of input they could give. We had to really encourage them to uh, give us all their feelings. Uh, language was an issue with the different nationalities um, that we had working there. And I think coming up with something at the end that recognized all the inputs and all the, and, the, and the three different company cultures was very important. So tell me how you did that. How, how did you take all of that raw information from your research phase and, and synthesize it into something actually practical in terms of a brand a communication strategy? Yeah. We, well, we, the, um, I think the key issue for us was recognizing that uh, actually even processes that were already underway, the new company had been named um, for example, and, and what came back clearly and strongly was that nobody liked that name. So um, we, we, we took all this different input. Um, we, uh, we involved the communications task force in, in, in helping analyze and develop uh, the brand because a big part of our role was about skills transfer over time. Um, and we then came up with something, uh, a whole brand positioning that was completely new that, that took all the strengths that people had identified, that focused on the values of the company um, that we had worked with the employees to develop uh, and came up with something new. And that, that something new was Orpic. Um, it was a, a new name, a new brand, a new approach that was very much based on the, the employees' values. So tell me about the launch of the new brand internally. How did that go down? How did, did, did the employees feel consulted? Were they, uh, was your... Was that a successful moment? It was, it was fantastic, um, and I say that just um, because th this was a culture in which over the previous six months the senior management team had started visiting the different parts of the business and, and getting in front of the staff in a way that hadn't happened before. I think historically we'd been talking about quite hierarchical businesses. Um, there weren't really big company meetings. So we brought everyone today, uh, everyone together on launch day um, into uh, into one event and gave a you, you know an, a, an explanation of the values the process we'd followed and then the big unveil and it was literally standing ovation it was fantastic to see that people w were so pleased with with what they'd gotten we, we had I remember 
uh, one of the technicians stood up and you know and said it was one of the proudest moments of his life working for a company that now had a proper brand, as he put <laughs> it. So it was really fantastic. Well, that's a wonderful example of a of a, of a measurable, a visible outcome. What, what other kinds of uh, of measurable successes did you have for this campaign? Well, um, the the um, some of the uh, measurements came through that research process and there was a, a, a series of benchmarks in there about the communications and the strategy that, um, that the company was following. Um, we then did, did some follow-up work afterwards to get, um, to get views from people um, and we then solicited um, uh, responses from out the company and got, got, got a very positive set of responses, all within uh, the business and actually the, the, the next phase which we're, we're now into since is about taking that brand into the communities and developing the relationships with some of the external stakeholders there. Excellent. Well congratulations again on your MEPRA award and thanks very much for speaking to us today. Thank you very much.